one of the biggest killers in men and women. March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, but not everyone gets screened. So Dr. Thompson is in our open door green room, so we're gonna talk to her about the signs and symptoms to prevent the disease. Uh, March is National Colon Cancer Awareness Month. So according to the American Cancer Society, more than 50,000 people will die this year from colon cancer. But one in three adults are not being screened when they should be. So we need to clarify what to do to cut mm -hmm. down these numbers and make sure you and your family are safe and being screened appropriately. So Dr. Sharon Thompson of Central Phoenix Obstetrics mm -hmm. and Gynecology is committed to keeping us healthy. And uh, gosh, th those numbers seem to be just Disturbing. Yeah, you know, colon cancer, thank goodness, has a screening test. Okay. Because there's so many cancers for which we don't have mm -hmm. screening tests. Unfortunately, there's a lot of fear and stigma around mm -hmm. colon cancer screening, so people stay away. But really, it's not scary. There's nothing to fear. One, a lot of people don't realize that there are options. Okay. So there's uh, about four or five ways that you can be screened for colon cancer. The most common, the one we hear about a lot, is colonoscopy, yes. where a camera goes and looks at the entire length of the colon. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the one that people talk about. You have to do a prep for the day yes. before, and people dread that. But that's not the only option. Okay. So if you really fear the colonoscopy, mm -hmm. talk to your primary care doctor about one of the other options. There's some that you can do at home. Oh. There's some that you can do in the doctor's office. So they're really their options. I want to encourage people to mm -hmm. understand that it's not just colonoscopy. You can do something else if you fear that particular test. Okay. But the colonoscopy is very effective. It is very effective, and if there's something abnormal about one of the the other mm -hmm. test, it's the, what we call the gold standard. Okay. It's the one that we use to sort of measure exactly what's going on if we have a suspicion. Uh, so when are we, what, at what age or stage should we be tested? That's a great question. And part of that depends on your family history. Okay. So if you have a strong family history of colon cancers or other kind of cancers, you may need to start screening quite early, mm -hmm. depending on your family history. But for the general population, age 50 okay. is the age that we talk about. And then the other great thing about colon cancer screening, let's say you go for that colonoscopy. Mm -hmm. Your friends and your doctor convinced you and you went mm -hmm. and everything's completely normal. You don't have to go back for 10 years. Oh, is that right? That's okay. right. So it's one, it's not as hard as people think it is. The prep sometimes can be intensive, but you're at mm -hmm. home doing the prep, right. comfort of your own home. You can have anesthesia for the actual procedure. Mm -hmm. The folks who do this are excellent at doing it. They're very good at taking care of you. And if it's normal, 10 years you don't have to return. Volunteered to take a friend. I remember bringing yeah. my husband home after one and yeah. he, he insisted he wanted to go to Jack in the Box. They didn't They didn't <laughs> suggest that. Yeah. They, no, it was very it silly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what are some of the signs or symptoms of colon cancer? Um, th that might make somebody want to be screened earlier. Sure, so I talked about a big one is family history. Okay. So if someone in your family had an early colon cancer, age 40, or mm -hmm. many people in your family, cousins, aunts, mm -hmm. uncles, you definitely want to do early okay. screening. And then there's some symptoms that can be worrisome. So if you have any bleeding, rectal bleeding, okay. that's not normal. You should talk to your doctor, never blow that off, never think, oh, it'll just go away. Okay. Your doctor may reassure you about what's happening, but that's something you definitely want to talk to a doctor about. If you have new symptoms, so if you've been fine having no GI issues and all mm -hmm. of a sudden you're having bloating, you're mm -hmm. having difficulty, and it's new for you, lasting more than a week, definitely go get checked out. Make okay. sure that nothing's going on. I know I speak for every primary care doctor when I mm -hmm. say they would rather see you 10 times and reassure mm -hmm. you than miss the one time when something's going on. And who specializes in this? I mean, I guess a lot of times maybe mm -hmm. people say they, they don't know who to see, so the first person would be whichever doctor you see regularly, Exactly, right? so your primary care doctor is always your gatekeeper who okay. can help you figure it out, but there's special doctors called gastroenterologists mm -hmm. who take care of our intestines okay. from sort of our mouth all the way to the end mm -hmm. and so that's the person who would do the colonoscopy but your primary care doctor can direct you and in fact some of the screening tests I talked about mm -hmm. earlier you can do at your primary care doctor's okay. office you don't need a specialist for and it is mm -hmm. a, a highly treatable disease highly treat preventable okay. and highly treatable absolutely much better to catch it in the early stages than late okay yes. and, and any lifestyle choices you should make to up your oh, prevention yes. chances absolutely so good health is good health for everybody okay. get exercise um, don't smoke because mm -hmm. smoking is bad for our overall bodies. Um, eat a diet that has lots of veggies and fiber. Okay. Um, those things tend to be good for us. We're learning more and more these days about the bacteria that lives in our
our gut. And that bacteria actually helps keep us healthy. The way that we keep our bacteria healthy is to feed the vegetables. Okay. <laughs> That's, I'm a broken record on the vegetables, <laughs> right? Sorry. The good news for everything is veggies, veggies, veggies. Exercise veggies. Moderate alcohol. You don't uh -huh. want to do overdo the alcohol. Not smoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dr. Thompson, thank you so much. You're that's, welcome. That's advice Stay that we healthy. can manage to follow, I believe. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.